Hey guys, um, just a quick video to show you what I've been, like what I was doing right now. Um, I'm actually playing with some scraps that I have and doing some sort of like collage board to then create ta tags out of it. So I thought I would just uh, show you my process. I just made this one um, very um, quickly. I wanted it to be, uh, you know, just a pink, a soft pink, scrappy board and I'm going to cut it into uh, a few pieces so it can fit my die cut machine and then I will um, I will um, I have this um, Tim Holtz um, tag die cut that I'm going to run through a few places here and there so it, it will actually be the first time I use this um, die cut, so we'll see how it works. So here are the, the um, dies that I have. Um, I think um, I want to use as much of the, the board <laughs> as possible, of course. So I'm going to use a few of these. Um, and yeah, first of all, I need to cut this board and I will come back. So here are uh, the different pieces that I cut out and now I will need to figure out which dies I'm gonna use and then um, put it on top of um, the board and then use a little bit of washi tape to fix that and run it through my machine. And I will come back once I've done everything. Okay, so let's see how it went. And I would just recommend not doing what I did, which is using a very sticky um, washi tape. If it is already very sticky, that happens. It just ta tear off the paper underneath. So that's, that's okay because we can just um, add a scrap piece, but it's just a tip for you to use like some washi tape that you know you don't really like and that doesn't really stick well. Um, then you can use that for um, your you know <laughs> for that, I guess. So I will try to remove that as gently as possible and then I will come back to you. So here are the Oh, I just realized I forgot. <laughs> okay, I will do that. Oop, I will do that later. But so far, I have these made, and I tried to use up all the space on the um, on the board, <laughs> so I could only fit two bigger tags. But I think they turned out really pretty. Um, if I th I feel there's something missing, I can still you know, add some scraps if I want to, or I could add like um, mm, a cute vellum sticker or, mm, you know, like a little um, decorative element and then I could also like tie a bow on top here. There are these two, then we have two, three, mid-size, <laughs> medium-size, <laughs> um, so there's that. I also kept the cutout, um, like the negative um, of the, the pieces that were like um, not falling apart and I think we could use that in a project. I don't want to waste that. Um, so there's that. And then there are some tiny pieces. Um, it's so cute. Uh, so I really didn't want to, <laughs> as you can see, I didn't want to um, 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 waste, sorry, <laughs> that's the word, waste any space. So I used uh, these little dies here. So that, that's what I have so far and we'll be working on these, um, I'll be working on these later today or maybe another day, I will put them aside. But I will make another board with you 
I will put some music, don't worry. <laughs> so um, I will be doing that and I will try to create a more neutral uh, board because um, this one, I mean, it's very pink. Um, I'm just gonna go through the die cut machine one more time with this one and then I will show you um, the process of making such a scrapping board. Okay, so I actually changed my mind and run this piece through um, an, emboss an embossing um, folder and I really like the result. I think I'm gonna trim it just a little bit. I don't want to see this thing here, <laughs> this little border here. Um, or this one down and then I don't know I will keep it as is and maybe I'll use that as a tuck spot or um, create um, another um, another tag we'll see so that's the the result Thank you.